In this series, we are going to be starting from absolutely nothing and trying to acquire all the riches that Los Santos has to offer. Welcome to Broke to Ballin'. We're broke again. Well, not exactly. We do have around 250k, which sounds like a lot in the real world, but in Grand Theft Auto Online, that can barely buy you a piece of clothing. I swear there are some clothes that are worth like 200k, which is really, really depressing. You know what else is depressing? The snow still being here. I, I hate it. But speaking of snow, <laughs> we can go ahead and sell a little stock here of the snow. If you catch what I'm saying, it's it's this place. I just don't want to say it because I will get demonetized. But yes, we have 250k. We want to get some more money because that's the point of this series but yet I somehow end every episode with me being broke. It's quite sad. But yes, today I don't actually have a specific goal in terms of a thing I want to buy. All I want to do today is make some money and I do have a way of myself doing that apart from selling the stock here and possibly a bunker sale mission and that is called the contract. Now, if any of you have played GTA before, you probably know what the contract is. For those of you who have the, the, the contract is a part of the DLC that involves the agency and basically Basically, you work with Franklin to recover Dr. Dre's stolen phone, which has unreleased music on it. It's basically like a heist type sort of thing, but not a heist. But basically in the Hauntai mission, you get a lot of objectives, a lot of people to kill, a lot of stuff to do. And it's actually quite fun compared to a lot of the other content in the game where it's just fetch missions or just the same old deliveries and stuff. There's a little bit of variety to it and it actually is a quite a good storyline. But the great thing about it is that at the end of the whole entire ordeal, you will get $1 million plus all the little bits of money you get throughout doing all the different missions. If you have no money, but do have the agency for whatever reason, doing the contract is a fantastic way to get your off a million dollars and enjoy your time while doing it. So once we do this and possibly a bunker sale mission, or I might leave that to later, we're going to go ahead and start the contract and let the pain ensue. And the reason why I'm not planning on buying anything today is because it's currently Tuesday and obviously each Thursday GTA comes out with a new weekly update and I'm going to go ahead and wait until that comes out to see what is on discount because currently the apartments are on discount and you know I could buy an apartment but I kind of already have one and it's not really going to progress me any further in the series right now. So I think the best thing to do is to wait, see what business is on sale next week. I'm hoping for the arcade personally and then we'll go ahead and see. If we don't get the arcade, I don't know, I might just go and spend all my money at the strip club or something. And the final delivery. There we go. Pretty easy mission and we didn't get any bonus because I'm not sure why. Oh well, it is what it is. We're up to now 326k. Obviously we spent $75,000 buying the new stock, but that will get made back eventually. And I see a little time trial here. Now it is right next to me, so... Why don't we go ahead and try it? We're going to have to get down to the floor first, which I'm sure will be extremely easy for someone with my talents. There we go. But never mind that. We're at the top now at the LSIA time trial, which is 1 minute and 43 seconds and requires us to get to here. That shouldn't be too difficult. Although I've said that many times before and God, have I been wrong? Are you serious? I... <laughs> Ah, uh, Rockstar, I really hope you go under. I, I tried to respawn. Oh no, I respawned so I could reset the timer and it put me on the ground floor. So now I have to drive all the way back up to the top. I, I have no words. Okay, finally back. Three. Haha, -ha, gotcha. Ah, I have cops now. That's going to make things much easier. Also with the fact that I went the complete wrong way at the start there, that slowed me down immensely, but why not make it more difficult myself? I love a challenge. And I hate everything else. I'm just straight up going to die here, aren't I? Uh, parachute. Yeah, the parachute didn't help. Okay, let's try this again. That's better. That's not better. Okay, we've made it further this time. Although that's not much of an achievement, really. Driving into oncoming traffic, probably not the smartest decision. But what can I do with an IQ of 72? Yay. That took way longer than it should have. Where's the HSW time trial? I promise I'm getting into the contract soon. Just let me indulge in whatever the hell this is. Here we go. And here we are with a lot of time to spare. I'm not going to emote this time though. I, that would definitely screw me over. But there we go. 250k, level 64. Gotta love having a Minecraft stack. Bad joke. I am not sorry. And with that, we are finally less poor. Not, not poor in the GTA Online sense, but less poor. 
Okay, let's go to the contract. And here we are at the golf course. And the first mission on course. Are you ready to do business? No. Mm, what outfit are we going to go for? The par, the eagle, the albatross, the bogey, the drive, the putt, the chip, the birdie. I think realistically, it's got to be the bogey. That's how I view myself as a human. Hey, what up? It's Dre. And he's garbage, lol. You're the one that's going to find the phone, right? Excuse me, Mr. Uh, Young, is it? Look, we're going to play through, okay? Give you plenty of time to finish up whatever this is. Yeah. Back the fuck up and shut your bitch ass up. No, screw this. I still have friends on the board. My wife's having an affair with the owner. Like I said in my other video, my man, that's not a flex. You're getting cucked. Like, unless you enjoy it, which it doesn't seem like you are, you don't need to tell other people about it. I love the low polygon sports strength to the side. Uh, the team really did a great job on that. <laughs> All right, time to chase them down in the most inconvenient way humanly possible. I have an oppressor Mark II literally sitting outside, but no, we're going to use a golf cart because, uh, reasons. And I can't use my guns because that would be too violent, but crashing into them, that, that makes sense. Oh, I nearly, oh, oh God, he nearly got me. That'd have been embarrassing. Why are you turning around, bro? Go the other way. What is he doing? But my mans, I know your wife's getting porked by another man, but surely that doesn't affect your driving and reasoning skills. Like, ooh, all right. And his golf car is, for some reason, so much faster than mine. Not sure how that makes any sense. But here we go. Whoa, okay. <laughs> how are we still in this car? Franklin's not even holding on to anything. His fat ass must weigh him down or something. I don't know. There we go. Man's intimidated. Oh no, Eugene, they're hitting me. Just like my wife's getting hit by another man. I'm sorry, I need to stop milking this joke. Just like his wife gets milked by the other man. I'm <laughs> I'm sorry. Come on. There we go. Finally. Bro, how has this golf cart got that much acceleration? What is he jacking it up with? This is ridiculous. Oh, I wanted to ram into the car. Why'd you make me stop, Franklin? I don't know why he's just relaxing down there. He could have easily like ran away, got into a speedboat, but he's just sitting down like the, like the bitch he is. Not surprised. Damn, look at him. In the fetal position, just like a coward. Just like a sad little baby boy. Imagine being in this position in your life. A middle-aged man cowering in fear because he talked shit to a rapper or producer, whatever you want to call Dre, and, and having this man, this man, who is incompetent in almost every single way and facet known to human nature, standing over you with a golf club, about to beat your ass. I, I don't know where I was going with that monologue. Let's just keep hitting him. Yeah, boy! Woo! Hey, Dre. We took care of that thing. Nah, you won't be hearing from him no more. But what about that other thing? All right, cool. Look, send it over. We'll get right on it. My man. Well, there you go. First mission passed, 9.6k. Not the best, but uh, we had a lot of good fun making fun of a guy uh, for getting cucked. So, it worth it. And it is suddenly nighttime. I love when the space-time continuum adds up. It's really fun. Oh, 50k. I think that must be due, due to an achievement for starting the contract mission DLC thing. Uh, if not, let me know why I'm wrong and how I should be punished. So, now what we have to do is wait for a phone call from Franklin, and then we can head over to our agency to get started with the rest of this mission, DLC, heights, whatever you want to call it. And here's Franklin's call. Hey. You see, there's a slight little bit of a, a nice Easter egg there. When he talks about his old crew, he means Michael and Trevor, who are two pretty unknown characters that Franklin used to work with a few years ago. Hey, right on time. Come here, check this out. So obviously, as usual, long cutscene, blah, blah, blah. All you need to know is that we are going to be infiltrating the FIB, which is the FBI, obviously. And once we do that, we will have some information on Dre's phone, which currently we don't have the information on because it has been cryptid. I don't know. You get the point. It's been made difficult to get info on, so we're going to make it easier by getting some 
thing. I'm really bad at explaining this, but just watch and you'll understand. All right, here we go. VIP contract. The contract Dr. Dre set up data recovery. We're going to be infiltrating the FIB headquarters and retrieving any data that could lead to Dr. Dre's stolen phone. And here's the FIB building, an absolute classic staple of the Los Santos skyline. And here we go, breaking inside. Look how easy this is. No fighting, no alerting the guards. I'm sure this will go smoothly the entire time. So we're supposed to be able to open the door, but we can't because the fire alarm's on and Imani didn't realize that because let's just blow it up oh my god what is wrong with me i don't think you can be worse than me at video games what the actual <laughs> oh it's a good thing we don't have lives for this mission because that is embarrassing oh well let's go in oh the door's in the way that's unfortunate <laughs> What do I do? Oh, no. All right, let's see if we can get the door out of the way. Oh, God. Have I really... <laughs> have I messed this? Oh, there we go. You're, ne you're never bored on the Lankman Dan channel, are you? Always, always something to laugh at me for doing because I'm, I'm an absolute idiot. Well, here we go. We're going to get some information. Hopefully, the rest of it will go smoothly. Now, we have to wait for several minutes while it gets installed. Can you imagine what's going to happen in those seven minutes? If, if, if you guessed nothing... You are wrong. I have no body armor. I probably should have thought about that. Okay, I did that way too early. Like, you just don't care. No? Okay. Here we go. Taking one of the hard drives so Armani can work her magic. And now, time to escape. Probably not as smooth as it should have been, but... We, we did it. Yo, Lester. Can you, like, help a boy out? Ah, fuck. Hey, good work. Really? All I get is a good work? Franklin, I put my life on the line and actually died twice. And all I get is a good work? How about you get up your fat goddamn ass and do something yourself, you absolute piece of shit. Sorry, I just, I just got a little bit heated there. But yes, now the annoying thing about this set of missions that isn't really that bad, but it's just a little finicky thing that I don't like is that between each set of missions, you have to leave the building and wait for a text message before you can go ahead and do the next one. So there's a lot of waiting in between, but I guess it does give you time to restock on food and armor if you really want to. And that's what actually I'm going to go ahead and do now. So yeah, grenade launch is an interesting one. I remember when I was doing this set of missions on my other account, the grenade launcher actually came in very handy and I used it quite a lot. So considering that, uh, let's go ahead and get it. Does this bike just not interact with atoms the same as other things? Like, wh what is this? Why are you going through the floor? Okay, so the way the contract DLC whatever works is there are three leaks. Obviously, the three leaks are from the phone we discovered earlier and the data that we got from the FIB. We have to go through these three leaks one at a time to try and find who has the good shit. And by that, I mean Dre's phone, of course. Because I don't want to spoil the ending, I'm just going to get into it. You can either go through them in order or choose anyone you like. When I did it initially, I went Nightlife High Society Central Leak or South Central Leak. So I'm going to do the opposite this time to see if it has any effect on the story, which I don't think it does, but let's just do it. South Central League, let's go. Now time to head over to Davis, which is where we're going to meet up with one of Franklin's contacts to uh, hopefully find out where the phone is. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I did not expect her to just get absolutely bodied like that and carry on like nothing happened. I am so sorry. All right, seems we got to interrupt a deal. My favorite pastime, apart from everything else I enjoy doing much more than that. This should be easy. Bye bye. Oh, I think I meant to get in that. This might be an issue. All right, problem solving. Dan, think. Think very hard. How could I possibly get this unstuck? I, I, I'm going to try to boost into it with my oppressor. Uh, mate, I don't know if using explosives will be a good idea. I know I just threw a sticky bomb in there, but it may have like a health limit or something. And I really don't want to fail the mission. So uh, let's try this. And if this doesn't work, I'm just going to uh, curse the gods. Because why does this always happen to me? It might be better to do this and then boost into it. Oh, hey, let's go. I am extremely intelligent. <laughs> what is what is happening to these people? They're falling over all the time. <laughs> oh my word! Nah, what is going on with these missions, man? Everyone's getting absolutely bodied. I know the lost MC are a bunch of useless tools, but like 
Come on. You should at least be able to drive your bike to some amount of competence. They just all got absolutely destroyed. And what is going on? I've played GTA for nine years and still I get flabbergasted at the amount of weird shit that goes on in this game. It's an absolutely wonderful spectacle. 10 out of 10. And there we go, the first mission complete. Not too difficult, a good amount of fun because the AI is just absolutely absurd. And now, as usual, gonna wait for a call from Franklin and then we can continue. So, see you there. Here we are, mission number two, the ballers. Confront the ballers suspected of stealing Dr. Dre's music. Here we go. One thing I've already noticed doing these missions is that there's multiple different instances of a mission. So when I did this on my other account, I never came to this location to get into the Cavalade. I always was over in sort of this region down here. So there's definitely different types of the same mission in this contract DLC, which is actually really good. So if you want to replay it, it's not the same boring thing like doing uh, I don't know, doing the ULP missions over and over again, or doing the missions for the new Acid Lab over and over again. Doing the contract actually gives you a slight unique experience every time, which I think is good enough to make it replayable. And especially since you get a good amount of money for doing this every time, I'd say it's definitely one of the better ways to make money in the game if you actually want to enjoy your time, rather than just grinding out Kaya Perico for 24 days straight, like some psychopaths seem to do, because they have 20 million just laying around, which I don't know how you get to that point, but I I guess some people just be psychopathic like that. Me, I indulge way too much. If I see a few zeros in my bank account, oh, th there it goes. I'm talking about in GTA, not in real life. I, I'm, I ain't that rich yet. Well, this should be easy. Hold up. I bought a grenade launcher, didn't I? I this is what I bought it for. I missed. Bro, where is everyone that's trying to help me? I'm dying. Help me. Help me. Wait, where's Vernon? Where are you going, bro? Vernon, wait for me. I'm going to follow you on a bike. Wee. Let's go, Vernon. Hell yeah. Oh. He is a very solid man. Was he looking at my dick then? Vernon, do you want to get in bed with me? I wouldn't be opposed to the idea. Oh, this is dark. Down on their knees, just how I like them. That is a... This is a very strange scene right here. I love how there's just no comment on the fact that I'm just standing here. Not only blocking the gun that is interrogating this man, but also shoving my tiny micro penis in his face. I'm sure he likes it. That was certainly a scene. Okay, let's go. What is going on? I just heard some crashing sounds. Did the police helicopter just die. I wouldn't be surprised. They're pretty incompetent in this world. Hey, mission boss. There we go. Now let's head back to our agency in the most stylish way possible. Oh, damn. Look at me go. I landed it as well. That's some bloody skills right there, boy. Sign me up to a pro X Games. X Games is the right thing, right? I was about to say eSports, but this is the furthest thing from eSports. I'm not sitting down on a chair being lazy. Sorry. I, I don't know why I'm insulting eSports players. I actually like gaming. Let's just Cut to the next scene already. And now with all of these different leaks, there are three missions in each of them. So three missions of three, at least for this part of the contract. And now we are at the final one for the South Central leak, the Vargos. We have to recover the copy of Dr. Dre's stolen music from them. Let's go. And yes, this one is more like an actual mission. We have a mission screen and everything. So I don't know if that makes it much different, but I guess it's that you can do it with multiple people here, whereas the other ones you do solo. I guess that's the main difference. But as I am lonely, I do it by myself. And Franklin has provided us a lovely car to drive in which is fantastic. Also, as you can probably tell by now, I'm not focusing on the actual story and narrative of this contract that much. I'm more just going on about the gameplay and the funny stuff that happens. But if you do want to watch a video about the more narrative and story direction of this DLC, make sure to go ahead and watch my video on the contract in my other series. I'll link it down in the description and comments below. It gives you a better idea of that if you want to watch it. And I don't know, it's more content for you, so eat up. So time to unalive some people. Let's go. And now we gotta chase the boy. This shouldn't be too difficult. There we go. Good good start to the driving, Dan. Real, real nice. And there we go. Low runner delivered with zero damages, as you can see. As you can see, zero damages. What did I say? And for that, we get 6k. Wow, that is that is quite depressing. But then we get 100k for the award. So I'm not going to be too angry about that. We can go ahead and deposit that into our bank account. And then we got to go ahead and get started with the other missions. Of course, there are two more sets of three and then some finale missions. But before we get into that, I'm going to go and learn how to complete an actual sentence of English because my brain is just not at the moment. 
All right, see you soon. I'm gonna go ahead and pretend like it hasn't been an entire day since I last recorded it and let's get back into it. So where we left off, we finished off the South Central Leak location and now we can move on to one of the other two we have left. High society is more painful. So let's do nightlife first, okay? And here we are. I was gonna say quite a dreadful location for a nightclub, I must say. Now, do we go silent but deadly or loud and proud? Uh, I think we uh, make this as painful as possible. So um, here we go. This is great fun. Hello. This dude is making a lot of noise. Can you like shut up? I know you'll be dead in a second, but please. The tape should be in here. And there's probably someone around here as well. No? All right. I guess this makes it pretty easy for me then. Very cool. Now this leave. I'm not gonna lie, this is a pretty dead nightclub. You guys suck at business. Ah! Ah, God! That's a lot of damage. Now I know there's a bunch of people that spawn out here, which makes things much more irritating. And they're already shooting me. And I'm about to die. Could you fuck? not please thank you and i'll see you later i feel like the level of commentary for these missions is very uh low it's not that i don't know what to say it's just that there's not much to say i'm just killing some people and picking up a tape trying to make that entertaining is very difficult i was gonna try and say an analogy there but i felt like it would have come out very bad so i just decided to leave it for now i parked decently well this time I the bike is still going through the floor though rockstar fix your physics very nice, as I am bleeding to death. I am- Franklin, do you have no concern for my well-being? What a bitch. Bro, I, I am bleeding out- Look at me! Look at my head! Also, I just want you guys to notice the, uh, the statue that is dabbing here. Uh, Rockstar are, are really up with the, the cool kids and the trends nowadays. Now onto the second mission, which is called the Marina. And we're off to the Marina to find a boat. Why are we locking onto something? Oh, it's a security guard. And he's annoyed at me. What did I do to you, bro? What the hell? I was just flighting my rocket-powered motorbike. Like, what? Oh, well, your loss of life, of course. And now we gotta steal a speedboat to go over to the Rich Prick's yacht. Damn, I know it's a yacht and it needs to be out at sea, but they make you go a very long way from shore just to get there. Like, seriously? But here we are, the SS Daddy's Boy. That's a, that's a fantastic name. Now let's try and be sneaky, which we all know I am very, very bad at doing. Well, uh, come on, dude. I didn't shoot his gun. His dead body shot it somehow. That seems a little bit unfair in my opinion. Oh, well, do this the old-fashioned way. Kill everything in sight. Okay, he just ran off the fucking boat. That is very much his fault. Uh, that's everyone up here, I think. Uh, how do I unlock it? There we go. Why do I hear the scent of a woman crying? There's no- there's no girls here. What? Is there a ghost? Ah, I'm scared. What the hell did I just do? All right, just, just rush. Ah, ah! Behind me. What a surprise. All right, there's no one in here. But there's another person in this room, apparently. Is he in the closet? Dude, you don't have to hide anymore. It's 2023, come on. My guy, what are you, what are you? Well, I'm glad you could take a shit in peace. Now, I believe the evidence is in this room. It should be this flyer right here. We simply take a picture and uh, send it to our gang. It wasn't letting me use it. Oh, why the helicopters? I don't, I don't want that. I can't, I can't see it. Okay, I got him anyways. Wow, that was probably the most accurate shooting I've ever done in GTA. Oh my, why are you, why is there another? Do they just keep spawning? Could you f off, please? I know I have a rocket launcher, shut up. Oh my God, they just, they just keep spawning, dude. How many helis do you have? Oh my God, it missed, it missed, it missed, it missed, it missed. Just get me in, get me in, get me in. Bro, they've spawned six helicopters on me. Six? Nah, f*** this game, man. Uh, how many helicopters do you have? I know you're a rich daddy's boy, but god damn! Woo! I hate this! Could you go away now? Thank you. And here we are, the final mission of the high- of the nightlife- uh, the, What one are we doing? Nightlife, yes. We have to recover the copy of Dre's stolen music from the casino penthouse party, which is gonna be real fun. And we're here. Time to get our party on. Damn, they got anime titties in here? Hell yeah. This is a party I want to be at. Here is our boy. So, uh, you want to you wanna give me the tracks nicely or... No, s seems like that's not the option. Ah, that hurt my guy! What the hell? I'm going to have irreparable damage to my face. And emotional state. I'm going to sue. Sue. I'm sorry. Ow. Ow. I'm trying, Franklin. I have no body armor though. Which, on oh, my part, was a fault. But still. 
I am Franklin. How about you help out next time instead of sitting on your goddamn ass? My guy is way too casual in that scene right there. Oh, it just killed like 20 people. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm chilling. It's all good. All right, bitch boy, where you at? Hello there. But I want to. Uh, I'm gonna hit you with a candy cane because I'm feeling festive. Okay, you were supposed to use the candy cane, not kick him. That defeated the whole po whatever. All right, let's go back to the garage. I'm really, I wanted to hit him with the candy cane, but it just didn't let me. I'm so depressed. Wait, can I steal someone else's car? Is it gonna let me? Oh, I can steal that car. Yes. I love me a cheetah. An all-time classic in terms of GTA vehicles. Yes. Let's go. I know it's not armored at all, and I'm probably gonna die, but... Ow! Why- why do you let me crash? Game. I'm already seeing the issue with getting the cheetah. Oh well. Whee! And we are back. Perfect parking. Oh! Nice little parkour shortcut. Little speedrun tip for you guys there. Probably not useful in any- that is- Is that supposed to be like, that small? Sorry, I meant really large. Just a really nice size. Also a great personality. And mission complete. Quite easy in the end, actually. I thought it was going to be much more difficult, but I guess we've left the most difficult one to last. At least, it was the most difficult one I did it last time, so that'll be fun. Again? Oh my god! Now we're onto the final set of leaks, which is going to be the High Society leak. Now, if you know me, which you probably don't, you know I hate the High Society. The rich pricks steal everything from us including all the NFTs, which are so important to my happiness. I am very much kidding. But we can go ahead and do this uh, and, and take back some more music. Woo! All right, here we are at the country club where all the rich people usually are. Uh, all we have to do is go into this little room over here, which we can get into by going down here. Okay, nearly put off the security camera. You want to park? Thank you there. Uh, usually, well, at least last time I did this mission, I landed a helicopter over there and tried to walk in between these two security cameras, but very much failed. Luckily, this time I can just skip by it and makes things much easier. So that's very nice. Now let's hack the keypad to get inside. Oh God, what are the numbers, Mason? AKA Jake Sully. Now to hack some more. Bada bing. Now we can leave. Time to find a limousine. Which shouldn't be too difficult because they are very long and I like looking at long things. I, I, moving on. And here's a limo. How are you doing good sir? Make sure you get the pig, all right? Just the entrance will do. Send it to me. Yes, parents. I will do as you please and ask even though I am technically your boss, but um, yeah. All the energy has been sucked out of me in the least sexual way you can possibly imagine. This mission is so boring. Why, why do I have to take out the limo driver? Did I mess up the mission somehow? Am I an idiot? I might have. That was very brutal. I don't know if I want to touch the fire. That seems like a bad decision. Yeah, see, that's what I was worried about happening. Why, why was my character so okay with doing that? That, oh. Are you alright? Wait, are you telling me I could have just killed the driver that whole entire time without having to wait for the limo to get to the house? I wish you would have just told me that because I would have I would have no hesitation murdering another soul. Because I do that already on a daily basis. Not in real life, of course. That would be uh, criminal events. But can you stop going through the ground? You're adopted. So it belongs to Ben Brooks, crypto investor. Ew, dude! Crypto? How about trying to get some... You see, the reason why I hate the Higher Society League more than the other two is not just because the missions are more annoying, but it's because we're dealing with a crypto NFT nerd, and they are the worst types of humans. All right, time to have a bit of fun and kidnap a lawyer. My favorite thing to do in life. Did they see me already? What the hell? I know I was on a flying bike that makes a lot of noise and is very obvious, but really? Okay, well, do, don't... My character's actually an idiot. And the final lad... Now, we have a stun gun for you, my friend. Enjoy! Oh, it doesn't go this far. Bro, did I ask? Alright, let's carry the boy. No, don't shuffle on him. That is what? And there you go. His head definitely just got crushed there, but it is what it is. Now, there's going to be enemies that spawn, which are going to be a massive pain in my ass. Let's see if I can get out of this situation fast enough. Seems like that's a no! 
Ah! The same thing happened last time I did it. It's so painful. Well, at least the civilians are helping me. I love when they spawn countless enemies just to add difficulty for seemingly no reason. It's fantastic level design. Okay, seems like we might be away now. Don't. Glad you saw me coming. Why would you do that? You know what? Didn't work out too bad in the end. Oh, that was nearly so cool. I managed to hit the one part of the street that had a thing in it. God. Uh, here we go, though. Made it back. Lawyer in the back. Probably dead. But... Uh, uh, and here we are. The final mission of the High Society leak. And this is the mission I hate the most. So, let's go. So, last time I did this mission on my other series, I somehow managed to alert all the guards because instead of putting in a pin code to get through this gate, I stepped out of my vehicle and alerted everyone. I don't know how I is that stupid. Let's hope I don't manage it this time. So, we're supposed to go here and then enter a security code which last time I didn't see the prompt for and ended up in an all-out war. So hopefully me doing it correctly this time makes the process a bit easier. Yeah, this is definitely going much smoother than last time. Are you telling me that I have to go start breaking stuff? Disrupt the party by destroying the DG's equipment, taking out the guards and destroying the vehicles at the mansion. And I can trigger the car bomb in the lawyer's vehicle by selecting detonate bomb. All right, time to explode something. Here we go. Why are you shooting me? How do you know it was me? Are you psychic? That is bullshit. What the hell? Yeah, I, I somehow also f***ed up this mission as well. There's something seriously wrong with me. Private military, eh? That makes things fun. Ow, ow, ow. Why are there so many? You know what? Just give me my grenade launcher. Yep, that did a lot. And now he goes into his helicopter like the little scaredy ass pussy boy he is. Um, which is annoying though, because I hate the helicopter. Okay, I can't get the actual thing I want. Great. Uh, give me the Hakuchi then. And I have no snacks left. No snacks, no armor, and a death wish. Just how I like it. That's very rude of you. Yes. Yes! I'm so much better than I was a few months ago at this game. Which is not saying much, because I'm still pretty bad. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so much happier. So the reason why I used to hate this mission is because if you let the helicopter go too far, he escapes to a private yacht. And he still might at this rate. God damn it. Where's he going? Please don't go all the way to your yacht. Just land now. Bro, it's on fire. How are you still flying? This doesn't make any sense. How are you still flying? You're on fire, lad. Land. Oh, never mind. Um, I may have made the wrong decision by coming down here, actually. Now that I think about it. Is this lake too deep for the bike? Yep. I don't know how my guy's alive. The helicopter was on fire for like a good minute and then it crashed and exploded. Why did my helmet just come on? Okay. Don't question the things that happen in this game, Dan. Just enjoy the process. That's all you can do, really. I got to take out the billion now. I'm going to try and use the candy cane this time. Um, you see, I kind of destroyed my vehicle. How exactly are you expecting me to get back? All right, that works. And we out. Uh, never mind. One of the wheels is gone. That is not helpful. I'm gonna just drive to the other side, then request my bike, because I don't trust my mechanic. He will definitely put it on the beach down below. Actually, instead of that, I might want to request, um, something different. By something different, I mean the buffalo. Let's just get out quickly. Take care of this bad boy. And they, he put it really far away. Thanks, man. It's not like I'm in a crisis or anything right now. All right, away we go. Down and just like that, the final copy of the phone data that has been stolen has been returned. Lankman Dan, the best in the business once again, and that is the contract complete. Or is it? So if you didn't know, the contract is not over yet, even though we've collected all three phones with the data on it. And that's because there's one final person who has Dre's shit for the better, less yet of a word. What is, how do you say that saying? I'm so dumb. But yes, there's one more person we have to go and basically get revenge on. So that's what we're about to go do. For lack of a better word, that's what I meant to say earlier. I'm glad I remembered it after I said the sentence. That definitely helps. Did they ruin my hair again? Rockstar, what? Why? Bro, my man has such beautiful locks and you do this to him every other cutscene. Stop ruining my boy's image. He's gonna get no female interest like this. I definitely wasn't gonna use a derogatory term. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I completely zoned out during that cutscene, but 
Uh, for the lack of a better word, why don't I say the same thing again? As a brief description of what's happening, there is a guy called Johnny Guns, who Dre used to work with, um, that now stole his phone and leaked it, so now we're gonna take revenge and plug his butt or something, I don't know. Let's go ahead and see what the plan is. Never mind, I still have to wait for Franklin to be in touch. And there we go. Hey, what's up, it's me. So... Basically, we went into the agency upstairs where the mission starts. It wasn't there. We walked downstairs outside. Then Franklin decided to call us so we can go back upstairs and start the mission. I am aggravated. And now for these final few missions, for some reason, instead of using the computer, we have just the regular mission portal thing. I don't know why they decided to make that change, but it is how it is. We are going to be returning Dr. Dre's card to Record A Studios, and I'm sure it will be extremely easy and we will run into zero trouble whatsoever. Can you sense the sarcasm? Well, this is going to be fun. No, not the cop car. Don't shoot the cop car. I don't want to fight with him just yet. Oh my god. All good though. I prepared. I told you buying that grenade launcher would be useful. Ah! I have no body armor. I thought I just purchased body armor. Game. Ow, why are you behind me? How'd you get there? I have no snacks now? Oh, I did not prepare for this at all. So apparently when you start a mission and purchase all body armor, it doesn't actually purchase body armor. That is the most bullshit thing I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Ah, ah, God f damn it. Wait, where, where the hell is he? Bro, where are you? Why, why are you? What are you doing, bro? <laughs> all right, somehow we survived. Oh, well, here we are, Dre's safe. whoop de doo Mission complete and 100k for that mission as well. Obviously that's only a first time thing for doing the achievement, but a nice little bit of extra cash on top of the million you get at the end of it. Not going to complain. Now I should be getting another call from Franklin again very soon to let me know about, I believe the final mission of the contract or maybe the second final one, the penultimate, if you will. If you could just call me, that'd be great. I would go into the office and speak to him, but apparently he disappears whenever I'm around. I must smell or something. I don't know. But here we go. Hunt down Johnny Guns. This should be sexual. Don't ask why. Now, Johnny Guns is in this area located in yellow. But since I've done this mission before, I know he's in the rail yard. And for some reason, it teleports you into a train cart when you do this mission. I don't really know why, but that's what we're gonna have to expect. So, uh, here we go. See, I teleported. These guys don't stand a chance against me. I'm goated. Pretty easy so far. And there should just be one more car coming in. And why did it go over there? Oh well. Now we can chase after the man. Is that my car? I don't know why they moved it so far away. It just made it unnecessary for me to run back to it. But again, why do I question anything Rockstar does? Their motives confuse me. Now off to the airport. Imagine seeing me flying in. You better be scared for your goddamn life. Come on, stand up, big boy. Kiama, Kiama, you can do it. Oh my God. There you go. Now I know Johnny Guns is up on the other side of this thing, but we have to run around. Ow, it wasn't letting me shoot. What the hell? That was weird. Why are there so many of you? Bro, there's so many, piss off. They never end, bro. How many guys does Johnny Guns have? Are they really all willing to die for him? Like, seriously? You guys need to find a better boss. Anyone else? Yup. Anyone else else? No. Well, that definitely seems like it injured him. And after all that hard work, the contract is officially completed with Johnny Guns on the ground crying like a little bitch. Yo, Dre, Johnny, bitch, ass, motherfucker. I feel like we've been through a lot together. We, we definitely have. That time in the shower together? Oh, that was spicy. To start putting some of these demos out that I've been working on for so many years. You have no idea how much shit I've got. But you want to hear something? This is a world premiere right here, right now. Damn, that's fire, yo. 
Oh, oh, that hits, bro. Yes. Just for context, the music is off in game, so there's no audio playing. I am completely and extremely over exaggerating the fact that there is absolute silence in my headphones right now. It makes for a very awkward cutscene, I won't lie. I tried really hard there not to crash, and luckily I succeeded for once. Um, oh, I thought. <laughs> God damn. Dre's shirt blends into the sea. I thought he just wasn't there. I thought I left him back at the airport. That'd be quite tragic, but, um, no, luckily he is here with me. And here he goes, off into the sunset. Can I, like, keep the car or anything? No? Okay. One million dollars. How beautiful does that look on the screen? Well, guys, that is the contract done. And we even get an extra 100... Oh, sorry, we even get an extra 20... Tw tw what am I trying to say? We even get an extra 250k for the first time completion of the contract with the achievements, of course. That brings us up to 2.3 million. We started on 200k this episode. So honestly, that is an incredible haul for today or the past few days, really. Whatever comes out in the Thursday update, I will consider buying. Like I said earlier, the arcade is kind of top of my list right now but also the auto shop and some other businesses could be on my mind but with that the contract is done i hope you enjoyed if you want to go and give the contract a shot yourself if you haven't yet i would highly recommend it and even if you have done it go ahead and do it again it's a lot of fun can make you a good amount of money and is a lot more enjoyable than just spamming heists over and over but yeah that is it for today's episode i hope you enjoyed and i will see you next time hi franklin goodbye